might have been a bad idea. I can't hold it far away enough for my tired face. Good, good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. We are so close to Christmas now. In fact, we are exactly one week from Christmas Day. This is our last running around Saturday. You've got swimming this morning. It's Phoebe's last swimming lesson. Not ever, unfortunately. Um, I think it's the thing we'd all like to drop, isn't it? But you're nearly there. Phoebe can swim. She's just working on technique and strengthening. I'm on level bit. six now. I got my level five award. You did, yeah. And the last one is level seven, so I'm very close. You're very close. <coughs> and it's drama school today. It's own clothes because you're having Christmas is fun it? today. Yeah, you can wear a Christmas. Last jumper. time, Deborah, who's our principal, came dressed as a Christmas tree. A light up Christmas tree. It kind um, of looked like our Christmas tree. She did actually look like our Christmas tree. That was good fun. So we're going to do that. And Lilia's going to her boyfriend's this afternoon because it is his 16th birthday today. What are you doing with your eyes? Also, Saturday's not my favourite day, but also what's important about tonight? Very important day. Strictly final. But sadly, AJ can't do it oh, because no. she broke her ankle. Do you mind who wins out of John and Johannes and Rose and Giovanni? No, I don't mind. No, I don't mind either. I think it's going to be such a nice final, isn't it? If AJ was there, I would have minded if AJ did not win. You would have liked AJ to win. Yeah, she was so good. She looked so beautiful last week. Anyway, that's enough Strictly talk. Let's go and get changed we for swimming. We have to save it for the Strictly vlog coming soon. That's going to make everyone feel sick. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it <laughs> isn't. It's making me feel sick. Lilia's got her festive outfit on. Yeah. You can't actually see why it's festive. Give me an arm. There we go. Festive. Festive. So it's the great vegetarian pigs in blankets taste test today. These are the plant pioneer ones by Sainsbury's. Shroom pups in blankets. And these are the This Isn't Pork Pigs in Blankets, which is these ones. So I'm going to cook them in the oven and then we're going to taste them and see what we think. This is the This, is this not. Isn't Pork ones and they smell and look very good. The bacon's fallen off. It's hot. Bit. Oh, is it too hot? Yeah. They have just come out thumb. of the oven. Let's show the cooked version. There's the cooked version. Looks very nice. Oh, it smells so yum. Those sausages are mm. amazing. And the bacon bit is good too. I'd give them a good solid eight and a half out of ten. I'd give them a seven. Okay, we are trying um, these plant are, pioneers. These are the plant pioneers. They're called shroom pups. Shroom? Pups. Shroom pups in bacon. These don't smell as good. They smell like frazzles. My sister will have to decide which one she likes. Ten out of ten. So there you have it. Sorry, I'm just editing. There you have it. The taste test to end all taste tests. <laughs> it made no sense whatsoever, did it? We all had completely different opinions. I definitely preferred the This Isn't Pork. But Phoebe prefers the... Plant Pioneer Shroom Pup. So we're just going to get both for Christmas because my sister is the third vegetarian and the longest standing vegetarian. So her, she, she's like the head judge. <laughs> her vote will decide it. Um, I wanted to show you another card that I got today. It's really lovely. It's got future yarn on the front, sheep. And it says, ba la 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 la. And this is from lovely, lovely Kate. Thank you, Kate. And she wrote me such a lovely note inside. But what I really loved about this is on the back, it's got pieces so you can cut it out and therefore your design becomes a jigsaw. So not only are so many cards this year recyclable, uh, but they're also reusable. And I love that. Absolutely love it. I shall move. Well, you can be in the background if oh. you wish. I'm going to do the song of the day because I've forgotten the last few oh, days. Oh, no, you're all right. You can, you can crack on, on your 
Tubbles. All right. It's another rabbit hole for you, everybody, for the song of the day. Have you finished? Almost. Dan, I always tell Dan off because you won't believe the amount. Of time. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe the amount of time I spend editing the sound of him coughing in the background out. Don't always succeed. Song of the day. I've forgotten the past few days. I do apologise for that. It's just been. Well, you know what it's like. It's December. It's 10 days. No, it's not. It's not even 10 days. Of course, it's seven days until Christmas. Oh my goodness, seven days. One week exactly, it'll be Christmas Day. Uh, yeah, so song of the day for today was inspired when I was taking Phoebe to her swimming lesson this morning. Um, the Dermot O'Dreary, as we call him, because <laughs> we find him really boring on the radio. His real name is Dermot O'Leary. He's a lovely guy, but his radio show is so boring. Oh my goodness. Anyway, he played a lovely version of the song River. The version he played was by a British singer-songwriter called Ren Harvey, and it was a beautiful version. Of course, it was originally by Joni Mitchell, and it features in the remake of one of my favourite Christmassy films of all time. The remake is called You've Got Mail with Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. The original film is called The Shop Around the Corner with Jimmy Stewart in it. And it's an amazing film. I've got it on DVD. Oh, I could watch that later. If I get time, Ooh, maybe. Or well, I might have a bath. We've got a couple of hours later with no children in the house at all. So I might actually have a lovely long hot bath. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. So the song came on the radio and reminded me of a version that I actually chose for the song of the day in Vlogmas last year, but it was such a beautiful version, I wanted to share it again. And it is the version done by Travis, uh, who are a Scottish band, and they did a cover of this song. And I will link it below, it's on YouTube, and it really is a wonderful version. So the song of the day is River, Choose Your Artist. <laughs> but I will link to the, uh, actually I could probably link to the Ren Harvey version in a YouTube video as well, so I'll do that underneath and if you're in the market for a good old-fashioned Christmas film to watch then uh, you could do a lot worse than the shop around the corner it's a lovely film all right I'm gonna go and clean the kitchen might put on some dog messes whilst I do that <laughs> heard me talking about my love of mince pies but my dislike of the texture of mince pies so mince meat which is what goes into a traditional mince pie is made of dried fruit and alcohol so this particular one from Tesco's just a, the cheapest most cheap and cheerful mix that you can just buy in a jar it's much nicer if you make it yourself of course but for this experiment that I'm about to do I've got a shop-bought jar so it's got fruits sugar, candied peel, vegetable suet, mixed spices, and the fruits contain sultanas, currants, raisins, orange peel, and lemon peel. Suitable for vegans. So what I'm gonna do with this, because it's the texture I don't like, but I love the taste, is I'm gonna whiz it up with my stick blender. And then I have bought some ready roll puff pastry as well. And I'm going to attempt to make some mince meat twists as a kind of mince pie alternative. I will say now, I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is either gonna be absolute genius or a total disaster, but either way, it's gonna be fun to do. So I'm gonna heat the oven up to 200 and it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook. So while the oven is heating up, I'm gonna whiz up the mince meat and let's see what happens.
Lily has just come home from PQA. She's off to her boyfriend's because it's his 16th birthday today. Yes. And she's got some lovely presents from her friend at drama school. And we thought we'd show you because we think you'll like it. Oh, I also have crystals from Phoebe, but that's a little thing. That is epic. It really is. It's a glittery, velvety toadstool. Mm -hmm. What more could you want? Do you know what else you could want? A toadstool belt that doubles as a necklace. <laughs> I don't know if they can see it. Hang on, I'll move the camera down so they can see well, it. Actually, it's a toadstool chain. A toadstool chain? Because I have a belt that you can put chains on. So she got me this. And it has toadstools. And it doubles as a necklace. It does. And what else? Oh, you to hide your eyes. Winter spice candle. <laughs> Can I smell it? Oh, it smells like The mince pie experiment is in the uh, oven. Oh, wow. It's lovely. I, I want to light it tonight. Yeah, we can light it whilst the Strictly vinyl is on. I also got two little crystals from they say Santa ain't coming around Trust me, I'm waiting up for you Coming down my chimney on Christmas Day Will be a sight for size to see I am a genius. It's really nice. Note to self, don't stuff a whole, what we're going to call them, mint, mint pie whirl in your mouth. Right before you're about to talk to people. I would have had to cut out a load of munching there. So the little twirly whirly ones, they come out really nice, really like those. And I think I've established that the uh, the larger ones are too large, but the little ones that I did have come out really nicely. They look like little bows. I haven't tried those yet. I just brushed them all with some milk before I put them in. Um, I probably didn't need to do that. And I've dusted them with icing sugar. I'm looking forward to trying one of the twisty ones later. They're still quite warm, which makes them even nicer. I'm very impressed with myself. And I've got half a dry, all of the stuff I whizzed up. Where have I put it? Where I, put it, I might put it in the fridge. All of the stuff I whizzed up, I only used half of it. So I put the rest of it just back in the jar in the fridge and I can make some more of these. I might get another thing of puff pastry and just make some of these for Christmas Eve. That'd be nice. Yay me. Who knew it? Culinary genius. It's one of those days where I've lost track of what I've filmed. I've had a bath, so my hair is all floofy. And as Lilia is out for dinner, uh, we are going, Dan is treating us to a Thai takeaway. So that's going to be really nice. And it's on its way. It should be here any moment. We've all been enjoying the mince pie um, puff pastry things. I think I'm going to try and make them with short crust pastry because I love short crust pastry. It's one of the best bits of a mince pie. So I might do that next time. I might use my remaining stuff to do an experiment with short crust pastry. Anyway, we're going to tuck into our takeaway. And then we're gonna get settled on the sofa and watch the Strictly final. So exciting. I'll say goodbye now and I'll see you tomorrow.